Are you ready for a liptastical adventure? That was so bad. Hi guys, it's Candy. This is like a beauty hack, beauty tips, why you're gonna fall in love with lip liner and how it's gonna make your lips look bigger, larger, fuller, and more dimensional. These are some lips which I colored pink. This is just like putting one color of lipstick all over your mouth. And what do we have here? But a little bit of shading on the lips to make them look what? three-dimensional so we contour and chisel the face contour the nose we contour and shade our eye and then when it comes to the lips we just do nothing we just put a lipstick over it maybe we line the outside who knows I'm gonna show you how to contour it and define your lips so they look bigger fuller so people are like oh my gosh what is on your lips but we are gonna be using at least three colors per mouth and I will show you how to achieve this look for a nude mouth a peach mouth a pink mouth a red mouth and even a rose colored mouth now grab your notes or just your mind and let's get started. So the first thing you need to do every time you go to put lip liner or any kind of lip action on, you need to prime the lips. You can take any foundation or concealer and just make sure that you conceal the entire edges of the lip. You don't want any redness or natural pigment of the lip color coming through. When you use a concealer or foundation, it knocks out all the color, so you're going to get the actual pure pigment of whatever your lipstick, color, lip gloss, whatever you're putting on your lips is. Next, you wanna take any powder and dab it right over the foundation or concealer you just used. This is going to set the concealer and it's gonna make sure that it's very dry around on the edges of your mouth so that your lip liner stays on it doesn't get feathery or smear or smudge off okay so first I'm just gonna show you a very basic nude mouth so I'm just gonna take any nude lip color this is pure Zen from Mac and apply it in the center of the lips I'm gonna take Liar from Urban Decay which is kind of a little peachy warmy brown and I'm gonna line the edges then you just soften it up and blend because you don't want to leave that harsh line there now we're gonna do the top and the areas where you want to pay attention to is in these corners. You want to make them look darker and then feather it out. So it's darkest in the corners and then softened out. That way it looks like the edges of the cheeks are being pinched because your lips are so swollen and full. If you want to take it one step further, I got your back too. So this is 5C from um, Makeup Forever. It's one of my favorite colors. Everybody should own it. And it's a soft brown. So now we're really going to go to town under here and contour this and a little more in the corners, and ta-da! My lips look way fuller after, and it doesn't look like I did a crazy outline or anything like that. Now let's move on to a pink lip. Take any light pink lipstick or lip liner. This is In Sync from MAC, or you could use Native from Urban Decay. Apply it in the center of both of your upper and lower lips. Then you can take a deeper rose pink like Turn On or Wicked from Urban Decay and line the edge of the lips, and then soften up that line just a little. Go into the corners. I just really want to leave this center area highlighted. And then I'm going to take the Wicked color, which is a little bit darker, and go right underneath. See how it gives a little bit more dimension, and then in the inner corners. And you can either dab a gloss or a light pink eyeshadow or color in the center. And there you have your pretty rose pink mouth. Now for a pretty coral peachy mouth. I'm just taking Riot House, which was Kelly Osbourne's color from MAC, placing that in the center. This is one of my favorite colors. This is Streak from Urban Decay, and we're just going to fill in the outside edges again. Then I like to take Bang, which is a brighter orange from Urban Decay, and we're gonna line the edges. And then gently fill them in just a little bit. And always make sure you get the corners. Then you can add a little more of your peach color in the center. And I like to blend it down like that. So for a more rose brown look, I'm just going to take a lip liner. This is Liar from Urban Decay and put this all over my mouth. Then I'm gonna take my brown M7C um, from Makeup Forever and we're going to shade the edges. And you can even add a little bit of highlight. This is 20C from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna put right in the center. This is a really pretty rosy brown. It's kind of that Kendall and Kylie Jenner lip look. And you can even contour reds. This is Ruby Woo, one of my favorite matte reds from MAC. And this is fine. You've got your basic red lip, but I'm gonna show you how to contour it and make it a little better. Next, I always like to make sure that I take Cherry Lip Liner, which is one of my all-time favorites, and really define the edges. Now the edges are more defined and it looks a little bit fuller already, but you can always take my old friend Cork lip liner from MAC and shade it in under the bottom. And then you really concentrate on the corners. Then we're just gonna go back with our cherry and blend it in a little bit. 
And one last bright orange color before I go. This is So Shod from MAC, which is one of my favorite colors. It's very orange and matte. And just alone, it looks like, mm, whatever. But you take a little bit of your cherry lip liner. And you gently blend the edges. And then finish it off by dabbing a little bit of the lip color in the center again and a beautiful orange red awaits you. Remember, it's about three colors per lip. The more colors you add, the more dimension it's going to be. If you just put one eyeshadow color all over your eye, it's gonna look very boring and flat, but you add a few different colors and that's when it becomes interesting and there's depth and there's different tonal values. Don't leave your lips hanging by just putting one color on them. Add some other ones and watch how fun it will be and you'll probably get a lot of compliments on what is that lip color you're wearing. It's like, I got like five lip liners, two lipsticks, and a dab of an eyeshadow one to up. <laughs> I hope you guys love it. Don't forget, you can follow me everywhere. I don't think you're a stalker. I don't think you're crazy. I want you to follow me everywhere. So follow me all around. Be best friends. See what I post on the Snapchat, on the Twitter, on the Instagram, on the Facebook, um, Pinterest. I'm all over the place, at Candy Johnson. You can find me, and I'll be sending you awesome things. So huge hugs and lots of kisses from my house to yours. Always remember that you are more beautiful than you know. You are more talented than you even think. And you're more loved than you probably even imagine, even if it's just from me from this girl and candy. I'm loving you. I'm sending you lots of love. And I will see you guys in the next video or you can watch other ones that I have below to the side. I'll put links down below for other videos and all kinds of stuff. And I love you guys and I'll see you later. Mwah! Oh, don't forget, comment below. What other makeup hacks, beauty tip videos would you like me to do next? Let me know <laughs> what you did be. Let me know in the commentary.